arrived in the Isle of Wight, we were on holiday um, late on the Thursday afternoon and on the Friday morning uh, the children wanted to go down and get some postcards. So Hannah and I walked down this big slope going towards Shanklin and Robert took his scooter. It was uh, Cow's Week and so there's just traffic everywhere. It was our first proper day and we were walking down and there was um, a hill and Robert went down on his scooter. Me and my mum were walking behind him and he went really fast. I was really excited that I could go down the hill on my scooter since I really like scootering. But then halfway down the hill, I think, oh, I can't stop now. Because I realised that I was going too fast. So I just started freaking out. But then like, I couldn't I move, you know what I mean? Because I just stuck there. And then I didn't feel anything. And as he was going further down, I could see he couldn't, he was having trouble stopping. And he went out of sight. And the next thing I saw was a truck had stopped at the bottom of this slope. I just knew that something had happened. We literally flew down the slope, uh, not knowing what was at the bottom, and turned around the corner. Robert was laying in the middle of the road, his eyes just staring straight ahead and blood, blood running out from the back of his head. I was very scared about what was going to happen because it was very serious already and I just didn't want it to get worse. Uh, Hannah was taken care of by the members of public and we were brilliant. Uh, the police turned up and they said that they called a paramedic and they, he assessed him and said because it was so busy and he said there's no way we can get an ambulance through here we'll have to call the air ambulance it was horrible to see him like that ambulance turned up um, straight away started talking to Robert the paramedic assessed him said he had a broken pelvis and they put a neck brace on him to support him and um, I'd say within sort of 10 minutes he was on on the ambulance I can remember being put onto the helicopter um, cause they put me on a stretcher and then I remember putting up my thumb but then I can't remember much else after that. I was obviously scared that I couldn't, might not be able to make it, but then I did feel like safe. He was on a hospital bed in his own little um, like room and he just seemed oblivious to what was going on. He didn't know what was happening. Well, I was happy that I made it. Um, yeah. I don't really scooter anymore at all. I still feel like really, really unbalanced on the scooter and a bit like creeped out, but it's amazing how they actually helped because if it wasn't for them, the ambulance wouldn't have been able to come down the road, the hill. And um, I don't know what would have happened. I think they're really, really good. It's, it's good what they're doing for charity. I really hope lots of people support them so that they can save lots and lots of people's lives, like mine.